So the plan for today was basically a lot of us is going to try for the breakaway and then yeah, see what we end up with and the rest of the guys keep on supporting Sergio and it's really super hard to get into the breakaways here in Vuelta. It's, there's probably a hundred guys trying and it takes about an hour to hour and a half some days for the breakaway to get, get away. So yeah, luckily we ended up with three guys out of 24 so it's a good combination. 47 seconds, I've got 47 seconds. Jacques and Jaco immediately started working for me, so I had to sit on and save as much energy as I could. And yeah, Jacques made sure no dangerous breakaways got away because the big group of 24 riders, there's always riders not working together and not cooperating and then starting to attack the group. So Jacques took care of all that and yeah, Jaco kept the pace high in the start and fetched bottles and stuff. So. Yeah, it was real good teamwork. Can we get some mix also? Yep, mix. Jago, good job here, yeah? But relax, yeah? It's special, long, hard. Special for, for stuff. That's a special one. Oh, well, today was mostly uphill. <laughs> there wasn't much of something else, so... Yeah, a 30k climb is something different. I mean, it's one hour of pain, so... Can what? I have some gels? Yes. Yeah, pretty much straight from the bottom. Some of the guys tried to form a new breakaway from the Kahu Roll, Roll guys. <laughs> they went for the King of the Mountains, and yeah, Jacques covered the move, and yeah, so we were represented there, and it re reduced the group size to about 12 or 11 riders. So the run up to the last climb was. Yeah, we had a pretty, the breakaway had a pretty big gap and it looked pretty clear that we were going to stay away. So everyone was trying to do the minimum, trying to save for the final climb. So everyone was just rolling through and trying to skip turns. So yeah, it's, it's quite a skill to try and save as much energy as you can. And then yeah, we arrived at the final climb and everyone went on his own way. <laughs> the final climb was really super steep. So. It's, it's more about just pacing yourself to the top. If someone goes early or it doesn't really matter because yeah, it's, it's so steep, there's no advantage sitting behind another rider. So yeah, it's just you have to gauge yourself and see how, <laughs> see how much you're willing to suffer to get there. I was really happy that I finally got, got into a position where I could use my legs because it's, it's quite hard to, sometimes, sometimes you have good form, but you don't always get the opportunity, so the opportunity came today, and yeah, I'm glad I, I I'm glad I got it and I made the most of it. So I was happy, but also, yeah, the front guys went so far ahead of me, so you always think, what if I did something different, or could I have pushed a little bit harder? So yeah, I'm happy now with fifth place, but yeah, I think there's still some room for improvement. Yeah, I, th I think it shows that that it's possible that we can we can get these results if, if we get in the right place in the right time and you're willing to put in the effort then a result is definitely possible. So there's still two the next two days are still pretty good for us with lots of mountains so yeah a lot of opportunities still to come.